Are these two the same people? I don't know. These two look kind of different to me, but okay. Alright, so we're going to get into this video of Dusty Zillionaire being mad at the preference wants 5k for in Kevin Samuels interview. So let's get into it and I'll be right back to comment. The woman that was last uh, found with Kevin Samuels, Hortensia uh, Alcantara, I believe she has something to do with his death. I don't care what nobody has to say. I call her the killer nurse. That's what I call her. And DJ Academics, he exposed her for running $5,000 for an interview. $5,000. Now, if she was a, a big Kevin Samuels fan, like I said, if she was a part of the focus group and wanted to be a part of the movement, she would have been upset. She would have been hurt. She has shown no remorse, no nothing. Now she's trying to get paid off of it. Let's listen what DJ Academic had to say, and I'll come back. I offered to speak to her on the record. Not, not on the podcast. I know it's the hottest podcast in the world. Not on the podcast. Say it. Whatever, whatever. I just want to really figure out what happened. It's like, you know, we're all looking like, damn, you look healthy. Like, what happened? Like, you know what I mean? Just trying to get, like, the vibe of everything. She first hits me and she says, I ain't talking to nobody. I, I got a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. My lawyer said, don't do no talking, no interviews. I said, well, it's not an interview. Like, you're not, who you talking to? Um, she said she was thinking about it, whatever. Anyway, she hits me back. And she says, if you want to talk to me, it's $5,000. What the fuck? That's what I be trying to tell y'all niggas, man. Like, none of these chicks care about these niggas, bro. Like, I'm thinking she destroyed and hurt. And she just don't want to get blamed. Man, she said, give me five bands, I'll talk to you, nigga. Fuck. Now you just heard it right there from DJ. They said she won five bands for an interview. I believe it because she jumping off social media. She didn't make a... She didn't say one time she's sorry about what happened to Kevin Savage. Now, one time did she say she's sorry for what happened because she really doesn't care and she's looking to benefit from the situation. And I'm gone. See how fast these men are turn on you? Now, just a second ago, she was the best thing that ever happened to the black man. And he died with her. He didn't die alone. Sweetheart, this is dying alone, sweetie. Okay? Now, Zillionaire is saying that she don't have no remorse. She won $5,000 for an interview. Now that she wants something for it, now she's the enemy. Now you don't like her no more. I'm telling you, once when... You know, something doesn't benefit the black man no more. Oh, he'll turn on you real quick. So you want her to sit there and do an interview for free about some self-hating black man that hated himself and hated his women and benefited off of his women just to put her on a pedestal. So now that she's not going to mule for free and do a Kevin Scamuse interview for free, the mean and black woman for free, now y'all mad. But I bet you if she would have done an interview for free, crying and talking crap about black women, y'all would love that shit, wouldn't y'all? But now that she's not going to be a mule for y'all for free and want some benefits off of it, oh, now it's a problem. Now you're complaining that she wasn't sorry about him dying or didn't have any remorse about him. And this is what I'm saying. That means that he died alone, you dummy. I don't think she should be asking for $5,000. I think she should be asking for much more. I think she should be asking for twenty grand to fifty grand at least because all them followers Kevin Scamuse got, you know, um, them damn followers and all them dick riders, you know, should be able to cough up that bread and donate to her and, you know, do that interview, okay? So, yeah, we know y'all broke-ass niggas ain't trying to, you know, really cough up that type of change, you know, because y'all cheap, you know, and when y'all gotta pay, you know, y'all ain't happy about that now all of a sudden she got something to do with him dying and i already made a video about kevin scamuse being murdered because i do think that he was murdered and it's funny because these dudes is being murdered by the hands of their preferences ain't this true the way these niggas talk these niggas should be dying by black women but they're not they dying with these preferences and it's just so weird so yeah if she killed them i wouldn't be surprised 
but I'm not marching. I'm not going to defend him. I'm be like, oh, well, another one bites the dust. Oh, well, next. Now, her wanting money for this interview, I ain't mad at her. But the question is, how do she think her men will feel that she's going to be interviewed pertaining to some self-hating ass men? I don't know if her men appreciate that, but let's just see how the situation will play. I don't think it's going to be a good one, which I don't care, but let's just see how it go. Because after all, these preferences do love them, right? These preferences do no wrong, right? These preferences is prettier, right? These preferences ain't overweight, right? Black man, don't you ever think that you could turn against Mother Goddess of this planet and you're going to have good luck and people going to respect you. Don't work like that. Let's just see how this goes because in the media, he's just another dead nigga and they're just going to move on to the next, you know, celebrity story. Mad passenger driver XYAK, we made me a Debbie dad, saving wound black woman. SYSBW.